Aries, you know, you know what will happen if you go out fighting. Why not let the Derby games continue so Zeus, the referee, won't penalize us with interference? Oh, okay, I will sit out for now. Headshot! Look, Trojans, Diomedes has been thrown off course by me, Pandorus. The referee Zeus must be on my side, allowing me to foul the great Diomedes. <laughs> Thank you, Capaneus. Now, Athena, please guide me into battle like you did my father. I plan to take out Pandarus with one blow. As you wish. I will help you, but I must warn you to attack Aphrodite after you defeat Pandarus because she will come to recover her son. Why only Aphrodite? What if Ares comes to fight? Ares is too strong. I do not want to face him now with you. Try to avoid him. Give up, Aphrodite. You've been in this game for far too long. Now, if you come back, I'll strike you again. Don't you think Aphrodite should sit out? She just gets in the way while trying to help the Trojans. Yes, Aphrodite. I will only let Athena and Ares interfere in the game. Ares, don't mess with Diomedes. He's already charged against Aphrodite and me. Why is Ares gone unpunished? He has injured almost everyone in the games, and Apollo and Kypris have set Ares on a rampage and nothing has been done about it. All right, tell Athena to end his spree and punish him harshly. Two hours later. told me not to attack Ares. Why do I have to attack now? If you don't, the Greeks will surely lose. So stop being afraid. I am now ready to face him with you. All you need is to get close enough and strike him.
Zeus, are you angry about my acts of violence? My revenge is what drove me, but that horrible Athena who punished me. But she goes free, unpunished. Why does she go unpunished? Do not whine, you double-faced liar. You are the one who wants to quarrel, but I will tend to you. I can't stand to see you in pain.